because I forgot to hold the microphone up to my gosh darn face. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Monday Left. How are we doing today? I had to recreate that at least. Welcome in, friends. Hi. <laughs> if you didn't hear me say your name, I said your name. I said, hey, hello, welcome, and hello to our lurkers uh, who may or may not be willing to speak up and say hello today, and that's okay. I appreciate your presence. Welcome in, friends. How the heck are you? Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Handlebar. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got we got sound. We made it work. Welcome in, everyone. I got a new shirt. I got this from Sierra Trading Post. I, every time I find Gymshark somewhere off of the internet, I'm just like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Actually, I did have to take two trips to make this one particular shirt happen because I was not sure whether I wanted it. And then this is way too much detail. Nobody wants to hear about all of this. But welcome in. Welcome back. How is everyone doing today? Yo, we just... You, you want an ab check right now? You want it right now? <laughs> Who cares about the shirt? <laughs> Who cares? I mean, it's going to be... I don't, I don't have my good lighting set up, Abid. So it's going to be a little bit... A little bit washed out, but there's your, uh, there's your preview. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> Easy now, Tiger. <laughs> but yes, hello. Hello. Uh, we got an upper body day today. It is TwitchCon week. So we will be going to TwitchCon later this week. We're going to be getting on a plane and going to Las Vegas. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we got some lifting to do. <laughs> Chill out. Welcome in. Whether you are uh, whether you're thirsty or not this morning, I offer you a hearty welcome. There is another shirt under it. Yeah, as always, we got we got multiple layers up in here today because it is a it is a chilly basement. We're working out in a chilly basement to mentally, physically prepare ourselves to eventually work out in a chilly garage. Because uh, I got. I got ye old space heater. I did make one prime day purchase and it was a space heater that we're gonna be using in the garage. Garage. As we're prepping that space. Oh, I still gotta make a phone call about that today, don't I? That has nothing to do with anyone on stream. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Start off with warm ups. Yesterday I had a hell of a leg day. We're not hitting legs today, thankfully. We're just gonna be doing some upper body stuff. Hoo wee! <laughs> but we did, uh, we did, we did peak out on thirst a little early on, didn't we? While I'm warming up and not able to look at chat, I'm gonna take the opportunity to talk through a couple of things that we got going on in here today. First off, it's TwitchCon week. You might see a little bar up top that is just like a little, a little tip goal for the week leading up. I know it's audacious. I know it's a little selfish, but uh, as I'm getting ready to take this trip, you know, just looking at finances and I figure it might make things a little bit easier if I'm just willing to ask for a little bit of help. So if you've been enjoying the content, you'll hear me say this multiple times today. If you've been enjoying the content. You got some good tips. Toss a coin to your streamer exclamation point tip and you will get information on how to do that. But zero pressure, zero, 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 zero pressure, really, truly, because times are tight, times are hard. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, other thing that's happening right now is uh, team apps are open. If you would like to join, our lovely Cosmic Hearts stream team. The opportunity is available through October 29th. Hell yeah. Move this too. I don't know why I thought putting it in the middle would be good or make sense. Ooh. And uh, Lucas, thank you. That's very kind of you. Yeah, again, zero pressure. Just, uh, you know. If you don't ask, how's anyone supposed to know? But yes, apps open through October 29th. If you have ever done charity fundraising on stream before, if you're a relatively, relatively consistent or active streamer, 
great. If you're not, you should still apply because we consider a lot of things in our team applications. If you've never done fundraising before and you just want to learn about it, you're passionate about it, great. There's basically a list of things on there that are like, if this applies to you, maybe consider applying. Future shot. Oof. Holding your hands wrong, you should make little crab claws. You're right. Here, I'll crab claw here. I was tempted, but not this time for me. Hey, that's okay, Para. Oh, probably going to open up again next year as well. So, yes, we are expanding our lovely stream team. And we're looking for folks who are all about making inclusive spaces online. So if you, uh, even if you wonder whether you're doing that perfectly, if that's a part of your values, and you're just working on the uh, execution, so to speak, now is a great time. Pop your name in. Woo! Woo! Eating only rice for two days now. Oh, Lucas, are you for real? Can I give you money? Like, can I, can I, can I give you money instead? Please and thank you. Happy modding for a cosmic heart. Hell yeah. And we love having you. We love having you as a mod. I didn't uh, look at the pictures because this morning is, has been really busy with work. But uh, I'm curious, how, how are you feeling? Post Yetus. I'm checking in with you like every day. Yo, Richard, thank you for the tip. Thank you so much for the tip. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a little, that's a little nudge. That'll, that'll make, that'll, oh, thank you so much for that. That's so kind of you. I was thinking, like, should I offer, like, sit-ups or burpees or something? And I think maybe, maybe we'll just get another ab check for you. If you will accept it. Except maybe I'm not supposed to do that because of terms of service. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I will do a completely unrelated ab check at some point. Yeah, that's going to be the move. I shouldn't show my abs for money, but I will sometime after donations are made, maybe consider showing my abs because I would do it anyway. Used to it, but I start working in two weeks, so that's good. So you're, you, you've got a plan. You are, you are on your way. I'm glad to hear that you start working in two weeks. Uh, are you excited about the new job? So free, I can breathe again. Drains are so weird getting removed. Yeah. No. Oh, just like the thought of it. The thought of it messes me up a little bit. <laughs> I'm looking for suntan when you return. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the weather's like down there. Apparently, there's hella mosquitoes down in Vegas right now. Don't show abs for money, but should get money for showing abs. So, I mean, if that's the, if that's the practice we're going with, we can... We can try it. We'll, we'll do our best. Welcome in, Zachbot. Can I get a shout for Zachbot? Zach, how was the rest of your lift this morning, my dude? I actually had a relatively busy morning. There goes Evie. Evie's having a minute. There you go. Completely unrelated. Ab check. <laughs> borf. Borf, borf, borf. Bork, 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 bork. We're going to get started with our bench, because that's what we're doing today. We're doing some heck yeah, mm yeah, bench press. Mm yeah, heck yeah, bench press. Ooh, thank you for the biddies. <laughs> there you go. You set the pace. It worked. Not like the most fun work. I've been out of work for two years because of mental health. Feels nice to get my life going again. Hell yeah. And uh, if, I, if I might say, if I might say, life has still been going for you. Life's still going. It was just a little bit different for a while. That's my, that's my attitude anyway. But I'm glad to hear that uh, there's some excitement going back to it, right? Like, I don't know. I feel like folks take breaks from careers, take breaks from jobs, and they come back, and it feels like more of a task than anything. But if you're excited, hell yeah. Oh. Whew. Good to see you, Zach. You ready to bunk up? 
Me and Twitch are gonna fight. What are you gonna fight about? Wait, you're gonna fight with you're gonna fight with the whole Twitch? Seraph. Seraph, are you selling tickets? Are you selling tickets to you fighting Twitch? I would love to watch. Please. I need entertainment. Don't be letting me know that you are streaming. Seraph, are you on the Discord? Yeah, Twitch notifications are... Uh, Twitch notifications really are not super consistent. I have a secret that I'm gonna... I don't know that I've ever said this out loud on stream before. I have Twitch notifications completely turned off. I only go off of Discord notifications. So if anyone's ever wondering, like... You know, I'm in Joe's community. I stream occasionally. It'd be really cool if you stopped by. Uh, if you do not put in a Discord that we are part of together, or you do not put in our Streamy Friends Discord that you are streaming, I'm not going to know. I get notifications from Twitch for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are on. Right? Don't usually see it on my phone. 50 plus Discord, so I have to mute some stuff. Otherwise, I'll be up. Oh, I totally get that. Yeah. I'm... Discord is uh, also a little bit troublesome for me. Um, I have missed a couple of things with our team on occasion. Just because, like, as much as I have in my brain, I tell myself that I'm prioritizing notifications from the team Discord. Doesn't always, uh, doesn't always pan out. Or, like, my phone will do an update. And it'll wipe all of my notifications before I get a chance to, like, look through them. That's the worst. It's like losing tabs you have open, but not having the option like you do in Chrome to restore all of them all at once and thumb through them. Of course, I am a minimal tabs open kind of guy. If I have more than five tabs open in a browser... My brain just stops working. I have to close stuff. It's like the equivalent of having way too many papers on your desk. For me, I look over at someone's computer and they have so many Chrome tabs that you can't, like all you can see is the little icon for the website or like one letter. I get very stressed. How do you live like this? Woo! Hello, subliminal step bro. Hello, uh, no, I guess. There you go. There's your subliminal message. I just told you to go hack squat 300 pounds. I mean, like before, I just told you to do it now. That was what my little, my little message was in there. What up, Sega? How we doing? Twitch to be slow at the notification push. Can be up to 30 minutes after you go active. That is, that is also been my experience. And it is quite frustrating. Frankly. If my name were Frank. I would tell you. I would tell you. I did that yesterday, you baka. Did you actually hack squat, hack squat 300 yesterday? That's very impressive. I used a V-squat machine for the first time yesterday. I found out that my gym does not have a belt squat. They have a hack squat. They don't have a belt squat, but they have a V-squat. And if I set my legs the right way, it uh, really biases the quads, and that's what I wanted. Been a little while. How are you, my guy? You know what, Sega? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. We're getting ready for TwitchCon later this week. Um, new split is currently feeling okay. My deadlifts yesterday felt fantastic. We're going to see how this bench feels today. After like three full days off of upper body. What up, Natty? How you doing? Can I get a shout for Natty, please? And hello, Byron. Diet and coach lessons are taking progress. Okay, okay. What does progress look like, Bill? Oh, or Byron, excuse me. 
<laughs> I don't need to scream while I'm doing band pulls. That's entirely the pre talking. What up, Michael? Hello. How are you doing, Michael Runs Miles? How are you feeling today? Good to see ya, as always. Are you feeling like fully recovered from your marathon? Because what, it's been just over a week, right? And didn't you run eight miles on Sunday? You devious, devious man. Can I do band pulls, my shoulder pops. Have you tried different grips, Natty? And are you using like very lightweight? Use hack squat the first time in about three weeks. I have to be on vacations. 360 for nine. Paused, if I remember correctly. Not every hack squat feels the same. I think I'm gonna use the hack squat machine next week. No, it won't be next week because I'll be in Las Vegas. Eight miles yesterday was pretty good. Think I'm gonna do another marathon? Wait, when? <laughs> when are you doing it? You're welcome, Natty. Para, we'll see you soon. Whew. All right. We did band pulls, we did a warm-up set. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for another one. What up, C-Dub? How we doing, baby? Good to see you. Sega, can I get a shot for C-Dub? I know you're coming back in. I'm like, hey, Sega, I missed you. Get to work! I'm just kidding. That's, I, you know that's not what I mean, but if you could. Uh, whew, speaking of running, is there any run happening in Vegas? There is. Um, and now that I have some location information for where I am going to be staying, I will be able to provide. I need to get that together. That's on my list for today is uh, get the group run info out and uh, send it to interested parties. Oh, I don't know if we're ready. I don't know if we're ready. You got a bib transfer. Oh, December. Oh, you're going to be. Oh, it's going to be so crisp. You're going to have such a good time. That's incredible. <laughs> are you excited? Or are you more nervous? Less tired and less sleepy. When eat healthy as my coach requested. Coming down for five food noodles. Overpress. Ooh, okay. That's good stuff. That's good stuff, Byron. If you made those changes and your body feels good, that's real good stuff. Get these tens on here. Plan is four by ten at one eighty. But uh, ooh, right now. Feels pretty firmly like I've overprogrammed. So we will see. We will see. If I can't keep it under control, I'll drop the weight. I know I've been doing that a lot lately, but. Back from vacay, off the Wi Fi grid for a week. Where'd you go? Can I ask? Said it'd be running with peeps. Yeah. We're going to have a couple. I think we're going to have a couple of routes set up. So we'll have one route. It feels really weird to put it over there. We'll have a. Uh, Ideally all from the same place, but one route that's going to be, um, like two miles, we'll have a two mile, I think a two mile, a four mile and a six mile. And then if anyone wants to go super hard and go longer, they can do that on their own. Whew. Set it in nervous. Do some PT and take it easy on training. Just maintain, make sure the legs stay healthy. That's a great idea, Michael. Like you were fast enough. You just had a little bit of. Had yeah, a little, little bit of, yeah, you hit a sticking point. You were plenty fast to hit that PR. And uh, I have a feeling you go in feeling fully healthy, you're going to have a damn good day in December. Damn good day. Used to think workouts would hold up my focus at work. Turned out doing workouts before work. Healthy and not that tiring. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it helps your brain, like, very literally helps your brain function better. <laughs> more uh, more blood flow sleep is the other thing 
if you are like you start working out and you you don't feel like you're feeling any better or that you're feeling like you're really dragging super hard, you might just need a little more sleep or you might need to be getting better sleep. Northern Georgia mountains? Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, do you have family up there? If you don't mind my asking. Man, I have not really spent any time in Georgia. Spent some time in West Virginia. Uh, some North Carolina. Been, been to South Carolina at one point. Spent a little time. Hope y'all will forgive me if I'm checking work from time to time here. That's so rad. That's so rad. I mean, we we have been pretty consistently taking like a uh, taking a little road trip every year. That's been that's been our thing is trying to get some sort of road trip in for about one week, like one and a half weeks every spring. Um, but next year. Things might look a little bit different for us for road trips. So I'm a little nervous if we're going to be able to get one in. Beginning of the AT. I got a buddy that is uh, planning to do the full AT. I want to say he's like, I can't remember, I can't remember his timeline because right now he's just, he's literally off in the mountains of the West, just going from mountain range to mountain range. Uh, climbing and just like doing whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> um, just like taking a year off of work to go and see virtually every mountain out there. Um, Cause he did pandemic response work. And then after things really like after his contract ended, he had been saving money. Like he knew he wanted to do this for the last three or four years. And so he'd just been saving money to not work. There we go. All right, we'll pull this out. We'll do temple tappers. I'm really happy for him. Dude's been through some shit. Oof. Maybe baby on the way. Not on the way, but uh, in in planning. Baby in planning. We're uh. We're trying to be careful about timing. You know, it's like, I've heard people say, hang on. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> In progress, I like that, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I got to be careful about how much I say detail wise, but um, we're strategizing. That's what I'll, that's what, that's the line I'll go with. <laughs> um, ooh. Yeah. I've, I've heard people say like, you know, there's never a good time for it. Like you're never going to be totally ready. And, uh, for my own stubbornness, I've just completely disagreed with that. <laughs> and been like, you know, we do have some level of control over this. And that is a privilege. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be ready when I'm ready. Wife is gonna be ready when she's ready. And we got time. Time is on our side. Have three kids if you need future advice. Ooh. I mean, you know what, C-Dub? I am going to take that. Open offer. Anyone who has kiddos, just like dump that shit on me. Thought you and wifey decided not to have kids for some reason. No, it's just been a timing thing. Like, part of it is 
part of it is money. Part of it is just like where we're at in life and whether it feels like the best possible time. But as I've said multiple times on stream, optimal isn't always optimal isn't always necessary, you know? The motherfucking spider descend on its damn web like Mission Impossible from the Hell, right between my face and the screen. Oh my gosh, Sirely. <laughs> Terrifying. Are you okay? If I and I agreed we'll be ready when she's ready, she decided she'll be ready in two years. <laughs> Puff's better than Yeah, I'm we really like having a doggo. No, I'm not. You're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, Sirely. You like my you like my trap sack? I feel like when I try to flex them, they become less impressive. This was definitely a goal for a while, though, to, like, get the little stringer gap. <laughs> to have, like, just enough uh, trap separation where when I wore the stringer, it would hang off my neck a little bit. That's uh, definitely a vanity point. But... <laughs> Yes, the, the kiddo thing is, it's, it's complicated, right? I know some folks uh, don't necessarily get the, the resources or uh, they aren't necessarily encouraged to do planning as part of their upbringing. And if you're a parent, just know that I think you're a hero. Like, genuinely. We'll see. What is all you need? Lurking, maybe drinking. You gotta let me know what you're drinking. You're contractually obligated to let me know what you're sipping on. Thank you, Natty. Thank you. Thanks for receiving us yesterday, by the way. That was really fun bringing folks over for Final Fantasy. Ads check. <laughs> when will we get some, some chest bounces? Like, like peck bounces? Wait, was it ads? Zach, have a good lurk, buddy. All right, let's get into this next set. Oof. As a reminder, until October 29th, we have Cosmic Hearts team applications open. And in the week leading up to TwitchCon, I'm doing a little bit of a push for just a little bit of extra support. We got a little tip goal up in the corner. If you've been getting some good advice or you've just been enjoying the vibes, you feel like dropping a, dropping a coin Buying me a beer over at TC, just making things a little less, uh, a little less, uh, a little less impactful on the wallet. I appreciate it, but no, no pressure. Pussy. All right, bring these out. Temple tappers. Coffee with cognac. It is, I believe, hang on, it's C O G N A C. Spelled like cognac. Cognac. Ooh. Temple tappers or dumbbell skull crushers, if you want to be. Less exciting about the name. It's a cool thing about lifting weights. I think people underestimate. Is you could just like make up names for shit. You know? Ah, one more. Bleh. Stoner. Can't wait for TC. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. 
I was telling, uh, I was messaging with Michael this morning. You're in chat. I'm not, we weren't talking about this anyway. <laughs> it doesn't feel real, you know? Like it feels, it feels like a, like I'm really hyped about the trip. And it just feels like, I don't know. It's like the, the, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so exciting. There are so many unknowns. <laughs> Why do some weightlifters muscles snap from the bone? So are you talking about like a detached bicep where you see people's muscles just kind of like flap off? So first off, those videos are horrific and uh, they scare the hell out of me. So I'll, I'll lead with that. Um, second off, that is a, either a weakness or damage to the tendons of the muscles. Cause like tendons functionally, what they do is they connect muscle to bone. And when you are creating leverage with skeletal muscle, your tendons are kind of the, I mean, they, exactly what they sound like. They are the connective tissue that is monitoring tension throughout those movements. So you have Golgi tendon organs and muscle spindles. Both of those for, like work together to tell your body when muscles should uh, contract, when muscles should stop contracting, like immediately. And usually when someone's tendon, when their bone separates from their muscle, muscle from bone, it is either because they have continually overloaded their tendons and not provided enough rest, um, or and you, usually it's overtraining, right? There could be a, a muscular, like say, you know, looking at, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, this is not the right word, dynamic chain, right? So if I have, say, um, say an injury in my, in my forearm, right? You can say I have an injury in my forearm. Every muscle going like down through my hand and my fingers and up through my shoulders and my neck, um, all of those muscles are going to be providing extra support to do the task that this muscle is not able to perform, right? So this could be weakness in the muscle. This could be overactivity. So that's what you see a lot with leg muscles, like people have tight calves. Uh, or if they have lower back pain, it's typically because like your hamstrings and your glutes are not activating on a daily basis. Your back is taking on all of the work. It's constantly overworked. Um, those are the kinds of situations where those kinds of breaks or snaps can happen. Now, like I can't say from a completely fully scientific standpoint, like this molecule takes a tear off of this molecule and moves a hydrogen atom from here to here. And then your bone just snaps off. Like, <laughs> I can't give you that kind of explanation, but typically it is a result of overtraining. Sorry if that was too much of an explanation. Whew. Checking my flight in 22 hours. And I'm freaking out in the best way. Yeah, I'm not flying out till Thursday. Are you going out Wednesday? Scratch my finger in a fit of murderous rage against that spooter. You should go, you should go wash that up, honestly. I hate it when bones break under weight when they try to lift too much or a machine breaks. See, and that stuff does not happen very often. I want to make sure I'm super clear about that. Because there are people who are afraid of weightlifting for very valid reasons, right? Like you see all of these videos. And as much as the internet, I think, has made uh, lifting in some ways, like expanding access to information, making things more welcoming, making things more inclusive. Um, in some ways, viral videos have just made people more and more afraid about lifting weights than ever. <clears throat> because yeah, that dude who has been uh, either taking performance enhancing drugs and training for eight to 10 weeks with increasing intensity and not taking deloads, not taking down weeks, um, or is just like, walking into the gym and not warming up and then getting underneath an amount of weight that they've never even done before in their life. Uh, those things are going to end in disaster, but like the primary, the, like 99.9% .9 of the time when you're weightlifting, as long as you're not 
being a massive ego lifter for as long as you are not completely ignoring the cues that your body sends you, lifting is very safe. Now, here is where uh, I need to just like knock on some stuff because this would be a horrendous time for me to drop a bar in my face after making that little statement. Welcome in, Heja. Welcome in, Michael. Ooh. Can I get a shout for Heja, please? <laughs> Heja doesn't like shouts. But well, we like Heisha, so we're going to give Heisha a shout. I, Heisha, I got to tell you, I've been really enjoying the Halloween content you and Tay have been doing. It's been great. Three more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I just do a quick check in? How is the music volume? Is it like good with the speaking volume? I feel like it's a little louder today. <laughs> No problem with good old fashioned lower intensity volume training. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Turn this a little bit so we can see. Temple tappers. One, ooh, two, three, four. <laughs> Come on. Falling apart. Shoot, bud. Please don't drop. No drop. Taking a few days off from the gym for this tattoo to heal. Interruptions to my schedule make me feral. If I don't lift weights for more than a week, I scream. Continuously. I got put on leave for it. Have a good run, Natty. Sound is still okay? All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mm. Mustache is looking particularly suave today. Well, thank you. I was actually going to give it a little trim. <laughs> I was going to give it a, a nice little trim up, keep it from extending too far over the lip. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to flip everyone off. I'll never forget when I was working in a kitchen in undergrad, one of the older kitchen staff. I just like didn't know much about like growing my beard, you know? And uh, he looks at me. This dude was very direct, very kind, very direct. One day I walk in and he's like, man, if you're going to grow a beard, don't let your mustache grow over the top of your lip. Like, not like that. <laughs> you know, he looked at me directly. It was just like, not like that. <laughs> like, I mean, I know you're right. Thanks for the feedback. <laughs> Are you going to do a little gambling? I'm going to do a little, I no. No, I am planning to walk into a casino. Go, ooh, ooh, ah. There's the $50 blackjack table and I'm gone. I mean, I'm, I could, I could do a little bit, but I'm just like, I'm just not, I think about like what, what can happen when you gamble, you know? Like, what else could I do with that funding? I love food far too much to spend potential food money on gambling. Have you seen that TikTok that was like, sometimes yes, but also no? <laughs> yeah, actually, my wife was watching that, and I looked over as she was watching it, and we just kind of made this, like... 
Yes. But also no. <laughs> and I, I have to agree. I have to agree. I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to pull a mustache off. Don't got to gamble just because you're in Vegas. Buy treats instead, yeah. I could get, I could get two burritos with the cost of like 30 seconds at a blackjack table. That's it. That's basically it. Buying food you never tried before is a form of gambling. That's true. That's very true. If I get a sushi rito, which I very much plan to do, that's a lot of burrito. It is a safer bet, especially if it's a burrito. I like penny slots because hours of entertainment can spend as little as like $20. Yeah, yeah, and I did that the first time that I went to a, uh, first time I went to a casino. It was like my graduation gift was we went on this. You know, in Michigan, a lot of people, they take trips up north, up north, and that's either northern Michigan or like the UP of Michigan. And so we went up to the UP to stay at this place. Um, <laughs> and... That was that was a that was a story. I lost I lost all of my money. I pro I only spent forty bucks, but at the time, like I felt so ashamed that I lost forty dollars at a casino. <laughs> I walked out of there like, you loser, you absolute buffoon. What do you mean you didn't stop while you were ahead? I was never ahead. Twitch bans gambling on its site, having TwitchCon in Las Vegas. I mean, I, that's, that's a fair point. But having a private event in a place where people can go do gambling, you could say that about literally any city in the U.S. Except for maybe Salt Lake City, right? <laughs> people, people are going to gamble if they want to gamble. But Twitch, like actively taking their user base and putting things relating to gambling in front of them. I'm glad that they banned gambling, I will say very clearly, because there are so many kids, right? It is now a platform where there are a lot of kids that are interacting with it. No gambling. Key to gambling is to treat it as if you're spending the money to enjoy the game and don't plan on getting it back. You know, honestly, another existence is a really good way to look at it. I don't think I'm going to be able to look at it that way, but I res respect, I respect that you can. <laughs> Welcome in. All right. We got to do our next bench set, but I need a quick banyo break, so I will be right back. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll stay here. Welcome back. I hit the wrong button. Set the limit of monies you're going to spend. Can't lose more than $20 without being like, not worth it. Yeah, that's kind of my, that's kind of my cap. 20, 20 bucks is my cap. And you know, maybe with inflation someday, my cap will be $30. But they haven't made a $30 bill yet. Will it, hold on, will a $20 bill ever feel less, less of a big deal? Because every time I hold one of those bad boys in my hands, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not really too inclined to be careless about how that, how that gets spent. Maybe that's just me. But I remember what... 
what a twenty dollar bill used to buy. Oof. We're gonna uh, we're gonna just do a rest pause. And we're gonna get two more really good really good reps here. We're gonna put we're gonna put them to work. Sometimes you got to rest pause. Or write it down. Hmm. Bella, hello, welcome in. Have a set amount you're spending on entertainment. You lose it gambling. Fine, you spend on entertainment. That's all you're going to spend on it. Yeah, I have a... I'm going to revisit my budget for this trip. Because I planned some stuff out for food plan some stuff out for like the housing thing thankfully was already taken care of and it is going to be less expensive than I thought welcome in Bella how you been one two get the shoulders back three four five six Seven. Slow. Eight. Slow. Nine. <laughs> Gotta pause. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. Three, four, one, two, done. Oh. Bit of soreness from yesterday, I'm not mad about it. Might do some push-ups though. Get them juices flowing. Just this morning I watched the uh, Renaissance periodization video on soreness. One of their videos on soreness. Dr. Mike's perspective on it, I think, was very interesting. He didn't necessarily give a lot of science for that perspective, but I don't think he's wrong. Basically, he was saying that if you're doing things to reduce soreness, things like ice baths, cryotherapy, ibuprofen that you are reducing the muscle growth potential when you should be just eating more and sleeping more if you want to build muscle like yeah great that is somewhat helpful i don't know love the guy sometimes but also he can be a real turd Okay, Ugh. we're gonna do easy curls and pull-ups as a superset, but in the opposite order. I still gotta do more band pulls. Still pretty here today, I've been okay. Oh man, woke up this morning, it was 42 degrees. And I was, uh, I was on the fence about that. It's like it's gonna rain with a low of 38 today. Took Evie for a walk. We got these little sprinkle dinkles. She was just happy to get moving. You beat your mile? Nice. Was that a, wait, was that a two mile run or were you just you getting out for a mile? That's fantastic, Natty. That work is paying off. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> nice work. Nice work. You love to see it. There could be such a delay with improvements in running, but once it starts hitting, it really does start hitting. All right, so we're going to put on our 15s with all our friends' names on them. Fifteens teams and fives? No, wait. How much do we want on here? That's 45. We want 60. Five and a 2.5 on each side. Hit our high at 62. Toasty. Toasty and beautiful. That's excellent, Natty. So happy for you. <laughs> there is There are very few things like that high of getting a PR after spending weeks, months, working towards that goal. I feel like all my track workouts kind of feel the same nowadays. I've definitely plateaued a little bit. But that's what this new split is supposed to help with. Which uh, I had to rename. Um, you heard me refer to my split as the lull split. Uh, wifey has corrected me. She says that I shouldn't call it the lull split because I'm still doing some sort of leg stuff on run days. So she says I should call it the lurl lurl split. Lurl lurl. And I guess if you consider rest to be a part of that, you could call it the lurl 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 lur. You you can you can use all sorts of names. Awesome feeling. I remember hitting ten thirty. Hell yeah, Bella. Yeah, I didn't do any um I didn't do any mile runs this year. That was one thing that about every year up until this year, I've at least gone out and done one mile long race. And this year, I think the one that I normally do, I can't remember what was going on, but I wasn't able to go. Started at a 14.30, September 16th, day after my birthday. Today is 10.59 in just a month. That's fantastic. That's great progress. Hey, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Sounds like you got, sounds like you're on the up. You got some speed in there. See, when I do band pulls nowadays, I'm really trying. Mad at me? Lou, what's the matter? What did I do? Is it because I is it because I didn't do all my van pulls at the start of the workout? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lou. Make giant sets look so easy. You know, so I was throwing up today. I mean, they consider how much chatting I do. What did you, hold on, what was your giant set today? PB of all time is 623. You'll get right back there. You will absolutely get right back there. Welcome in, Lou. All right. I just did band pulls, so I'm going to wait a second before doing more push pull-ups. Excuse me. We're going to do a little progression of pull-ups. We were doing the, like, five by, or, like, eight, eight sets of five for a while. Um, we're going to try to get back. See, I'm so, I'm so on the fence about this. I really should stick with Eugene's prog, which is just, again, eight sets of pull-ups at something that you can reasonably do. But for time's sake, I kind of want to get back into doing the, um, just like five sets of not failure. But getting a little bit closer. Nine. Plan is three sets of nine. 
cable rows, bench press. We're going to do a top set, V ups, five cal ski. Oh, damn. I mean, so I don't, <laughs> I mean, I can see just the ski, the ski erg alone would make that an absolute burner. Like, I'd probably almost vomit doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably, I'd be taking, I'd be taking a first class trip to Barf City. Five cows of ski erg, are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I should breathe. I should breathe better. Someone feels like it needs to puke or vomit, but it doesn't know what one. That's all my leg days feel. Anytime, anytime I'm doing squats or deadlifts that is like RPE 8 or above, I feel like I'm going to barf. That's a me problem, but, uh, <laughs> Lou, do you want to just do the leg day that I just did? Or you can do my leg day from last week. If you want me to send it to you and then you can firmly be like, no, he's not actually working that hard. You can scale it to whatever weight works for you. Doing less is better than doing none. That's right. A whole lot of, whole, a, a little bit of something is better than a whole lot of nothing. Oh, pound town more than Barf City. Hi, my name is Cool Runnings, and uh, I'll be giving guided tours of Pound Town today. If you look on your left, you'll see your mom. Bandit good mornings, squat, obliques, and then some sort of cardio. Same idea, three sets of top set. Ooh. Um, so my supersets yesterday were uh, a V squat. So I did, the, I, last week I did a leg press, supersetted with reverse lunges. This past week, this week I did V squat with reverse lunges. And that made me wanna, that made me wanna, you know what I mean? That made me wanna. And then doing barbell good mornings with goblet squats, like wide stance goblet squats. Have you ever heard of Brian Alsru? I'm not sure I have, I'm out of water. Can you, can you type in who this human is while I go and get some water from upstairs? Because my body requires fluids in order to operate properly. And while uh, I would like to pretend... Who am I kidding? I'm really trying to be on maintenance by getting lots of cardio in. But this last weekend, I went a little hard on the, I went a little hard on the food. I'm not talking like 4,000 calorie days, but you know, closer to three. Getting water is allowed. Ooh, good stuff. I was gonna be in trouble. A little snacky snack. Arkansas Strongman does this giant set style for everything. You can squat like 700 pounds. He was like someone a third of his size. I want to be able to do that. Matt Barrow's programs is not eight sets. It's like six with some accessories. Hmm.
Hell yeah. I'll check it out. I mean, I know for me, I do supersets and giant sets so I can sort of save time. The eventual outcome is usually that I spend more time resting between sets. When I'm on stream, yesterday, in the gym, focused up, I got everything done in an hour and 15 minutes. And I felt serious pride around that. All right. <sighs> ah. Dropped a little too low. Doing it so I can sneak in cardio. Now I feel like I'm going to cross train for 30 minutes. No, I mean, doing steady state inside of the gym. It's not fun. It is not fun. Like. Oh. If that is. If that is what you're doing. Fantastic. If your gym routine. Involves going in there. Getting on the treadmill for 30 minutes. If that gets you to the gym, fantastic. But if you like lifting weights, so much more fun to do cardio outside or in different forms. <laughs> Come on. I need to fix something about my easy curls. I can't tell if, I'm, if they're working or not. Whether it was kinder, I'd walk, but it's not. Yeah. Winter swimming. Ooh. I'd love to get back in the pool. Pool's all hogged up by the people at my gym. Welcome in, Psycho Commando. How we doing, big man? Good to see ya. And get you, get you all all shout, looking shredded. How you feeling, broski? How's the shoulder? Pulls up my high school snow gym membership for me. Ooh, all right. Yeah, so you can just, that's fantastic. That's so good. Hogged up. When did I say hogged up? I think I did say it. Hogged up. I probably shouldn't keep saying it. Let's <laughs> say so the pool is hogged up. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is. There's people, if, if, if there's people in there, tell you what, hogged up. <laughs> when I'm in the pool, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, you know what? People have hogs. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right now. Shoulder sucks. Decided to go crazy on legs and back. Heck yeah, buddy. Are you doing PT for your shoulder? Like, do you have a path forward of healing or otherwise? Magical Crocs going back in the window. Not bringing my Crocs to TwitchCon. Though I did think about it. Because I'm pretty sure Crocs has a booth at TwitchCon. Which is very strange. Only one of the foundations that I fundraised for has a booth at TwitchCon. But Crocs also has a booth at TwitchCon. I may have to double check that. I could be wrong. Hey, Crocs, if you're, if you're hearing this off in the ether, I would love to partner up. I would love it. <laughs> Champion of the common folk. Yeah, I mean, all my D&D characters have the folk hero. Uh, the folk hero background. It's what they expect. And who am I to give them anything different? 
Crocs needs more Croc ambassadors. Exactly, Nostalgia Games. We need more people rocking out with their crocking out. Rack out with your crack out. Welcome in, Nostalgia. Thanks for chatting with me this morning. I know I kind of pop in really briefly. Uh, that period of time in the morning when you stream is like right when I'm trying to get into work and get through the flow of things. But I always want to say hello. <laughs> Old break really is no healing. Trying to keep from hurting myself. Shoulder joint is pretty scarred up. Right on, buddy. Hey, if you're just hitting legs and back, let's go. That's all good. I am someone who, at one point, could not do much with my chest or shoulder, but did a lot with my back. And it turned out just fine. Whatever it does start hurting me. So you got some PT. Right Streamer two with whom I do the same thing in the morning prior to my super early start. All good, glad to have you in camp. Well, thanks for thanks for joining our health and fitness community. I was being very serious. I love your space. I love the space that you have there. It is really nice. Killing it with the slogans. <laughs> All right, Lou's gonna watch my curls. I got one more set of nine pull-ups, and then we'll do a couple more sets of eight. But yeehaw. Swinging. Left it low. All right, we'll wait 15 seconds. If I could put a label on it, Lou, what it feels like is happening. Feels like my shoulders are caving forward too much when I do my curls. I'm gonna rest a minute though. Not the cheapest. Four months of swimming are coming my way. And you know what? You probably have fewer people to compete with for your time in the pool, too. That is definitely a benefit, even if it costs a little bit more. I'll face the camera, too. <laughs> Swinging the elbows up. <sighs> no, ah, no more juice. I might just be over-programming. Always get a lane to myself. Only open a few hours on Sunday afternoons. Usually just me and a few other people. I love Sunday workouts so much. Like, if you're... I know some people love to just work out during the week and relax on the weekends. But I feel like... I feel very strongly about this. That if you are trying to build a habit or... You are trying to get yourself to a place where you enjoy exercise. Working out on a weekend is such a perfect way to do it. Because that is, you're taking the time that you have that is free time. And you're saying, I'm going to go do this activity that makes me feel good and relaxes me. And you just, it's usually less crowded. You get so much joy out of working out on the weekends. I love Sunday mornings at the gym. Ah. Remus, welcome in, buddy. How you doing? Bill Coleman. I think it's probably not helping the fact they're fatigued after the pull-ups. Some English causing the elbows to go forward. So don't actually mind as long as your elbows are behind you. Which isn't ideal. Try to scoop your traps, traps in. Make a suggestion for your programming next time if you do the same workout. Sure, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be roughly what we do 
I really want to always pair something with my pull-ups, but I'm willing to do something else. Like, I was thinking about swapping... So instead of having pull-ups, easy bar curls, doing pull-ups and rear delt raises, or doing pull-ups and um, uh, face pulls. So just still having an accessory, right? Swap your lateral raises and easy bar curls. Okay. So fatigue the back with pull-ups and then fatigue the shoulders. I could do that. I will give that a go. Let me write this down. Next week. I give it a go. Pull ups and lateral raises. Working from home today. Remus, I saw on Pokemon Go that you got like a 98 score on one of the nights this weekend. I was so proud of you. So proud of you for getting good sleep. I'm totally outing you in front of everyone, but. So proud of you for getting a good night's sleep. Last night I got... Pokemon Sleep told me I got like 6 hours and 40 minutes of sleep, and I know I got a little over 7. But whatever. Ideally, see so you have triceps later in the program. Triceps with the pull-ups. Shoulders will need to work harder. OHP set, do the biceps, as they'll be fatigued a little from pull-ups, but not so compromised you can't push it. Okay. Okay. I'll give this a go. In fact, let me just, uh, gonna save a little screen grab here. Lou, are you okay with me putting this in the Discord? Because I want to have a spot that I remember it for later. Boink. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Sleep Chyad. Um, it is Pokemon Company basically put out an app that you like work with a Snorlax to attract other sleeping Pokemon, and you attract your sleep, and you get little rewards for getting good, consistent sleep. Honestly, really no like good reason for it other than it's kind of cute. Natural hypertrophy, training styles you might like. Alan Thrall, the new program here shows very similar days. All right. Yeah, I can give it a look. Yeah, it's a sleep tracker. It's a sleep tracker with some reward systems built into it. And one of the, one of the things that I really do... Um, shit. Okay. Oh, what one thing I will say, like, you know, apps for everything, attention seeking, like your phone grabbing your attention for every single part of your life, not great. But the way that they structure it, I think it does actually reward you for getting good sleep, or at least attempting to get good sleep. Anything that gets people to pay attention to their sleep is a good thing, IMO. You got the Pokemon Go plus plus square to the eighth degree. They do have a premium program. I'm not paying for it. That's my line. I'll do it. I ain't gonna pay for it. Whew. Making the pull-ups look way too easy. Richard, let me, I, I, believe me, they aren't, I'm trying.
Uh, we might have to go back to some basics on curls. We'll cheat this last one. We got one more set of pull-ups. Demand more suffering. Suffer for my amusement. Not paying for the premium plan. Stop the little Pokemon Go thing. It'll help me get better scores. <laughs> it's me. I am the problem. Well, if nothing else, here's, here's, here's my opinion. Free to, free to play apps. Free to use apps. As long as you're not dropping a paycheck on some gotcha, random chance, super ultra tier, woo, super ultra rare lottery pull, I don't see the harm in dropping like five to 10 bucks on an app. If you're really enjoying using it, you know, I'm not going to, I ain't going to do it, but if you're having fun with something and you want to give the devs some money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I really try and program pull-ups into my workouts and never do them. Always feel rewarding after you can get more of them in. Rango, hundred percent. I had this moment a couple weeks ago and I was like, man, my pull-up totals haven't really changed. And then I realized it was my first time doing pull-ups in like five weeks. Of course. <laughs> of course I'm not going to be able to do more pull-ups. Because of what I'm doing pull-ups. Pull them in though. Incline barbell. Pullovers. OHP. Weighted pull-ups. Tricep extension. Low to high fly. Barbell curls. Interesting. So that is... I mean, that's a full, that's upper body, right? Madam Chlamydia, welcome in. And uh, anyone experiencing ads right now, thank you for putting up with them. I'm going to work on setting up for our next move while we have one more set of pull-ups to go. And we're going to do some band-assisted pull-ups to close out. Band-assisted pull-ups to close out. Now that we've done four sets. I'm back from ads. Welcome back. So we'll do eight pull-ups. Um, eight pull-ups non-assisted. And then we'll go to failure with our assist. Nice little, nice little pull-up strategy there. You can do it with a lot of moves, but pull-ups it's especially helpful. Give yourself a little hand. Uh, I'm going to be mindful of my phrasing once again. I apologize. Okay. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, come on. Pull this over. This is always a tough thing to navigate. Try not to snap myself and the boys. Of course I put it on incorrectly. All right, here we go. We good? No. Pain in the butt. It's all twisted. Put a knee in. Oof. This will never ever feel correct, no matter how often I do it.
Ah. Mm. What a fun sound those make. I'm corrupting. Put the band around the J-cups across the wrap. <laughs> yeah, no, not the safest way to do it. But I guess uh, this has always been like, you do get, you, you get more tension coming from the top. And uh, I'm sure the moment I actually get a little scary snap, that's gonna fix my heart real quick. Real time bread. How you doing, Bradley? Welcome in. Happy Mondo's to you, big man. How's it going? We got going a little late today. Getting into some OHP. Having a nice morning. Hell yeah. Are you sipping on some coffee? Some cafe. -fe. I've really been liking my morning routine lately, honestly. It has kind of just came out of nothing. It is entirely contingent on me having this walking treadmill working and being in the habit of using it. I'm gonna do a warm-up set just with the tens. And hopefully, I won't hit my head this time. Last week I bonked my noggin pretty hard. Oh man. Water. How was your weekend? TwitchCon or not yet? I did listen to Killer Clowns, yeah. That was a nice jam for the the, the afternoon work sesh. Um <laughs> But TwitchCon is this coming weekend. So, I mean, that gives me a chance to just drop a real quick. Oh, welcome in, Lucky Lauren. Uh, yeah, TwitchCon is this week. I'll be taking off for Vegas Thursday night. So we're going to be doing an early morning stream on Wednesday because I have a lot of meetings on Wednesday. So there's one thing to note. Uh, but I did open up a little, a little tip goal. Um, just looking at the budget. Figured it couldn't hurt to just throw it out to folks. If you've been getting some whew, some good tips, some good vibes on here, and you want to do a little to support me going to TwitchCon, exclamation point tip. I'm going to just scrape together a little extra cash before I go. <clears throat> no pressure, abs. Getting a Chipotle BOGO today? Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's, why is it a BOGO? Do you have a coupon? It was rad, bread. Hold on, you said that was like a, you said it was a theme song? I didn't quite uh, catch the gist. All right, so we're gonna do the big uglies. Plus five. Yeah. Wait, was this? Oh yeah, greatest showman. I was like, wait a minute. Did this? Did this show up in Dear Evan Hansen? I didn't watch that remake. You ever like see a trailer for something? And just go like, yeah, that's going to make me sob uncontrollably. Avoid. It's the theme for the movie. Okay. <laughs> mm. Me and my coworker are going to get one each. He sent me the money for one. Oh, word. Okay. Yeah, it's happened to me twice now where I've been waiting in a long line. Like in the last three months. Like waiting in a long line and someone I get up to the front and someone's just like, yo, I will pay you. I will pay for your stuff if you get stuff for me so I don't have to wait in line. I'm like, all right, I'll help you out. 
Dion, how we doing? Yeah, buddy. We rock Celadon City. Do you know why we rock Celadon City? Does anyone in chat know why? The stage show is much better. Okay. I will, uh, I will take that advice. I have not seen a proper musical in a year, at least. What was the last one I saw? I think it was... Um, no, it wasn't even a musical. It was something rotten. Like the shirt. I like the cut of it. Do you like the stringer? I need to get more stringers. I have two right now. And I wear them on repeat. Every time I go shopping for them online, I just can't convince myself to actually buy them. It's a little silly. All right. I'm going to set up for our lateral raises. Boink. Okay. This should be... How do I do this? That'll be 25. 27.5. On the inside. Power block math is something special. Shan. Oh, welcome in, Shan. How you doing? The shark gills. Do I his gills? Meow. Oh yeah, I saw young Frankenstein. <laughs> Jay, thank you for reminding me. I can't believe I forgot. Ooh. Beep boop. It's Mama Ruggo. Welcome in, Rug. Thank you for the resub. How you doing? How you doing, Rug? How we feeling today? Let me get a couple of sh shouts in here. In no particular order. In no particular order. In no particular order. I'm spamming my own chat right now. And that's okay. Ori, about to have nachos. What you putting on them nachos? Joe's official review of the production. I forgot it. <laughs> My official review is that I completely forgot that I was there. Follow me for more musical updates. Oh. <laughs> Join the terror list? No, uh, we, we probably won't call it that. Like, Burl is terrifying, but I don't think we're going to have a, a terror list. One. Oh. That's what that one felt like, Fresh. We're going to be struggling a little bit. Pips McTiggles, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Cheers. The list of terrors. All exclusive for Halloween. Veggie chili cheese jalapeno. Oh, that sounds amazing. I think I'm doing leftover pizza for lunch. Because uh, we gotta we gotta work through some leftovers before before the end of this week. Ooh, we'll start with eight. We will start with eight. In fact, I'm going to leave these over here so I don't forget. No forgetting the second set. Ain't happening. Whew. COVID jab this morning. Feel rough, so I'll be on the sofa with said nachos. I support you. I felt absolutely fine the entire day. I got it at 10, I got it at 10 a.m. Felt completely fine all day. And then at like three o'clock in the morning, I was just, 
I was in so much pain. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I was like rolling over and like huddling up into a ball. Oh, I can't go to work tomorrow. And then I didn't. I stayed home and I relaxed until I felt better. Leftover pizza is one of my favorites, alas. Cut is only five days in. Hey, you're already down a tad. What's your goal? How much are you trying to lose? Seven hours to hit me, and I felt like crap for nearly 48 hours. Moderna Club stand up. I've got four membership cards. Actually, I've only got one membership card that people don't even like look at anymore. So they just ask you. My arm hurts. And I feel all shiver me timbers. Yeah, I got real shivery. I think it was my second, my second dose. My first one was like, I feel like bleh for the day. Second dose. I remember walking up to my bedroom and just like, you know, like undressing to put on my PJs and then getting this wave of chill that went through my body that just, it, it would not, it would not go away. Like I was violently shaking for a good like 10 seconds. I thought like, that's it, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and then I was fine. <laughs> I just got in bed and I was fine. It was exactly like that. And Evie was staring at me like, what the hell is wrong with you, dad? What's going on, big boy? What's, go what's going on, big fella? You gonna make it? I said, no. I said, no, Evie, I will not. Vaping princess, hello, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome to our lovely home gym establishment. I'm looking at the lens flare back there. I'm realizing that I need to move this light. Doink. Whenever I start with bench, I always forget. This one actually does help a lot with uh, with appropriate lighting. Can't get greedy about it. Lucky Lauren sent you. Ooh! Well, welcome in. Well, if Lauren sent you, you must be good peoples. Range from 192, 198, 198 at six foot on a slight bulk. Thinking 10 pounds to start on this cut. See where my percentages are. All right. Yeah, 10 pound cut. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. You doing one pound a week? You going a little harder doing one and a half to two? I am going to, I'm, I'm currently, I'm in maintenance. I'm gonna keep telling myself this, that I'm in maintenance. I'm gonna be in maintenance for a month. One month of maintenance. I know it seems like annoying that I'm saying this over and over again, but I need to continually tell myself this so I don't immediately fall into a bulking mindset when I'm starting to feel a little more hungry or a little more tired because I am definitely someone who does that. That is very, oh gosh, very mildly self-destructive. Hmm. We'll be pushing a plate in no time. Or I'll be taking my time. Both mods and other streamers stream. Well, welcome in, Vaping Princess. Do you go by, can I call you Princess? Is that cool? Ooh. Last year, my ONC was high. Class is pre-diabetic. Ooh, thank you for the follow. Doctor told me to lose even just a couple pounds, probably resolve itself. Been a year, I'm down nine pounds, and it was not easy. A1C labs this week, hope it's way down. Hell yeah, Michael. I mean, if nothing else, even if your A1C didn't move, and I bet it has, based on what you're sharing, like, it seems like you have found your way into enjoying exercise more, and that's a win. Princess, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. <laughs> uh, 
Cheating. Cheater, cheater, cheater pants. Eight were clean. The ninth was a cheat. Ooh. Need a personal trainer. Hard time with self-control. Need to do a lot for my health. It's hard to cut the bad habits. Well, it's a it's an ongoing thing, right? Like, you know, I am very guilty of getting rid of one habit and replacing it with another. But that's no not always a bad thing, right? I like an addition mindset. You know, I'm not eating less sugar. I'm eating more like good carbs or I'm not it's it's I'm really not articulating this super well right now. I think I'm tired. <laughs> but good on you for like thinking in that mindset and trying to make some changes. I'm curious when you say bad habits, what you mean? Cuz uh I don't know. I think we wrap up too many things in bad. When really like they're not, not that bad. Maybe just a little excessive. Tally, welcome in. How are you doing, Tallyo? Also, the weight loss is 100% down to logging calories, being a little more mindful of diet. Issue is, didn't always look or feel overweight. Very resistant to being told I should lose weight just because my BMI was a little high. Obviously, the labs are a different issue. Yeah, I mean, what's in your blood is... Labs are <laughs> scary stuff sometimes. MFP has been a huge help for me. It's getting in the habit of logging everything. Yeah. Logging can be logging can be really powerful, especially if you've never logged before. I'm careful with how much I talk about logging in stream because I know some folks are really sensitive to the topic, but I still I maintain like it can be a really good way to if you've never given it any thought, if you've never logged your food before, give it a go once, right? Been a while since I had a good look at you. Oh, well, thank you, EDK. Thank you. That's very affirming. I have been trying to, trying to lift a lot and eat enough and get better sleep. And I think it's working. I think it's working. I've also cut down on running a little bit this summer. I didn't really break, uh, I didn't break 20 miles in a given week. I, a couple of weeks I did. I got up to like 25. But after marathon training last fall, I really haven't stepped it up too much. Or half marathon training this, this spring. 1,500 is my maintenance. It's so hard to consistently eat 1,400 a day or less and not feel like I'm being unhealthy. Absolutely. At lower calorie intakes, it can be really, really difficult. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. Knowing, knowing that it's very frustrating to some people, with my level of activity, around 3,000 is maintenance. Like, pretty consistently. If I am lifting the way that I lift, walking the way that I walk, like trying to get lots of extra steps in during the day and get moving throughout the day, doing my runs two to three times a week, 3,000 calories. Death paying off. Well, thank you, EDK. How you doing? How's your day going? I really appreciate that you are sharing, like you continue to share your amazing food and Discord. That like lights up my evenings when I see your dinners posted. Just like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, what they cooking up today? Doctor said I have to lose weight to help my blood pressure. Also so I don't get diabetes. So what have you been trying so far? You mentioned, you mentioned habits. Like, have you been trying to make some changes? Or are you kind of feeling, feeling a little stuck? Because it's good to know, like good to take stock of what you've been attempting to do so you can figure out what's working, what you maybe need to adjust. I mean it, EDK, for real. Because you, you get some tasty foods in there. My cooking lately has just been really boring because I've just been adding whatever protein I need to the things that wifey and I would normally eat, but that's also part of a food relationship strategy. Mm. 
<laughs> Gotta keep that body braced against this. But I keep doing. You can't really see it super well from this camera angle. If I'm arching my back super hard while I'm doing these, I'm no longer doing a strict OHP, right? I'm doing basically a almost like a really big incline chest press. I got to keep the shoulders locked back, pinned to the bench, not totally oh, flat back. All right, the poison, the poison, the poison for goose go, the poison judge, special to kill goose go, goose go, poison. Monique, have a good lurk. Good to see you. Welcome in, Jim. I found out the other day a single large tortilla. That can't be right. That can't be right. <laughs> yes, that poison. Four sixty seven. <laughs> Love lateral raises. Hate lateral raises. I don't know. B-Wolf does an incline bench bench press is OHP. Pretty meaty upper chest. I'm going to tell him you said he's full of meat. 197 grams. Man. I guess that, that tracks. I, sh I should know that. It's just a fact that I've avoided find smaller other varieties carb balance are only 70 each i'm tempted to walk up and look at the ones i have in my fridge right now did you know before crowbars were invented crows usually drank alone <laughs> now they drink in a murder how you doing jim good to see you how's the lifts baby trying to make changes had my gallbladder removed seven weeks ago yesterday dang how, how are you recovering are you feeling mostly normal? Are you able to get, get moving, get walking again? Oh, Ooh, I'm doing all right. Doing all right, Jim. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get prepped for TwitchCon emotionally. Trying to steal myself for four days of social interaction. Trying to gird my loins for four days of being surrounded by people without my wife. It's, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot. Google says tortilla generic 197 is 467. Mission Foods is 147. Okay. That's what I was, wa that's what I was wondering. Hang on. You know what? I'm doing this. I'm doing this right now. I can't, I can't wonder anymore. I'm going to just look in the fridge. Hang on. All right. My burrito tortilla, 71 grams, 220 calories. And that's a big tortilla. 197 grams of tortilla is massive. Now that I think about it, that's big. That's big. Stop drinking sodas and vaping. Oh, you're on semaglutide. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a big thing. I don't want to ask too many questions about it because I, I know that that's a very personal thing. But good for you on stopping drinking sodas and, and cutting vaping. Those are hard things to stop doing. We got a couple people in here who have been trying to dodge the liquid calories. Thank you, Madam Chlamydia. <laughs> I accept your divine blessings. That's a big tortilla. How big a tortilla is 197? If you ever fall short of calories, you can binge tortillas. I mean, it's, it's good to know, because like what I, my, the difference between, all right, here we go, you ready? Here's my difference between 
Cut, maintenance, bulk. Cut, burrito bowl, right? Burrito bowl, no cheese, okay? Maintenance, burrito bowl with cheese or burrito. Bulk, two burritos. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we get it done. I mean, yeah. If I'm if I'm on a cut, dairy is one of those things that I am. Che cheese is cheese and dairy are my big cut killers. It is ice cream and cheese that will completely derail me on a cut. <laughs> me personally. <clears throat> Something feels wrong. What's going on here? That sucked. Morgan! Hello. How you doing? <laughs> Lou, you almost got. You almost got got. <laughs> I mean, you did get got. Evie, come tell me about it. <sighs> Welcome in, Morgan. How are you doing? I had three and I was still hungry. When I was doing, uh, a run club, we would go to this place that did Taco Tuesdays, be $2 for a taco. I would order, we'd do a six mile tempo run, and then I would order four tacos and a beer. I love those days. It was so good. Evie, Evie, come. Evie, come here. Come here, girly. I said, come, come here. Come on. Come on down. Ooh. It was amazing. It was amazing. Wait. The beer will kill your gains, though. I'm gonna cut and I'm struggling because of cheese. I found that getting a good cheese knife makes the difference. You're gonna be, you're gonna make it, Lou. I promise. I promise you're gonna survive. Okay. Can I give you some pets? You can eat your snack. It's okay. You don't have to wait. All right. Yeah, I recently at a thrift shop, got one of those string, uh, one of those like metal string cheese cutters and changed my life. Cause we always get like this big brick of cheese at uh, Costco. And I just like, you, it's like the, there's like a wire and then a little roller and you just like push it in and you pull it down and you get this perfectly portioned piece of cheese. Perfectly portioned. And you're good. You don't have to question anything. You don't have to question anything ever again. Once you get a wire cheese cutter, wire cheese slicer, wire cheese annihilator, you don't have to think critically about another thing. You could take everything at face value for the rest of your life because you know that you are getting proper cheese portions. But yeah, cheese is a big thing for me. What's been really helpful is uh, I, just, I eat a lot more rice when I'm on a cut. Rice for dinner, rice dishes for dinner. Just being a lot more careful about those portions. But like, 
between Lauren and I, one cup of uncooked rice and whatever, whatever that produces, like three cups uh, or whatever, ends up being the perfect portion for us to go 60-40. Perfect portion is whatever fits in my mouth. A little bit of cheese in a cut. Plus fat kind for sandwiches and occasional sprinkle on a salad or burrito. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't cut it out completely. But when I'm going to, ooh, treat myself to a burrito for lunch, which is, I do not eat out very often at all. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. How, like, how much is it? Like, at, at what frequency of, like, going out for food or eating out is it considered to be doing it a lot? Lou, I need you to control yourself with my phrasing. I'm going to kindly ask. Just had lunch and full, but now I want a burrito. It is part of my routine to once a week procure a burrito from a burrito establishment. And I don't know if that's a lot. Once a week, basically doing the same like fast food thing. And then maybe wifey and I will do takeout once a week. I get so nervous about spending too much money on takeout. It's not intentional, I promise. Say once a week is kind of middle ground. More than that is kind of often. Three plus times a week, kind of a lot. Yeah. I just I remember at one point when so I used to have this job where all of my lunches were covered uh, because of the kind of job that it was. It was in food service. And when that was happening, I would talk to people who were working in HR that would like talk about how they were really struggling to save up for something. Um, like they were, were trying to like save up for a trip or whatever. And then just like it would come out in a conversation that they were going to buy lunch every single day that they came into work. And I'm not judging them for that, but it just like, that like really sat with me. I was like, man, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot let that expense be the thing that keeps me from doing other things, you know? As much as I love food, and I do love food. Oh man, we're not going to do four by 10 and I'm trying to decide right now, do I want to push for four by eight because that's what we did last week or do I want to go for volume, drop the weight, punch up the reps? Indulging a little more with takeout. Right now I feel like I can afford it, want to treat myself more. Can't imagine going out for lunch every day, right? And if like you're in the situation right now where you're hearing this and you're thinking, man, I need to, need to fix that up. Please don't feel any shame. Typically when you're doing that, there's a good reason for it. Ooh. Take out at most once a month. Yeah, but I like, I also separate takeout being like ordering from Grubhub uh, or like going to get like a full meal from a restaurant and bringing it home or like sitting down at a restaurant. I differentiate that from like going out to grab a quick, like a sandwich for lunch or something, you know? Maybe I shouldn't, but this is too heavy. Mm. 
Mm. Too heavy. It's all too heavy. What gives? Did I not eat enough last week? Probably didn't eat enough last week. I'm going to do it. I'm going to drop it. I want good controlled reps. Currently do not care if that means I'm lifting a little less. Ads. Twice a month, I kind of have to rush from day to side hustle. Unless I want to bring a peanut butter sandwich in to get myself a burger so I can eat while I drive. If I have time to sit and don't have time to eat while driving, don't have actually time to go home and eat. Yeah. No, no. I'm like, that's usually what does it for me, right? Is it's in the amount of time that I could get home, cook something, like I'm either not going to eat or I'm going to eat this thing. I don't order delivery very often unless I get a really good deal. Delivery fees and tip can add so much to a delivery order. 100%. Like there are pizza places around here where you could order, like you can get a damn good deal on pizza, but then you stack those service fees up. You can get like, like a bunch of food for 30 bucks. You end up paying $45 after everything and damn well i am not going to not tip that person i ain't going without no tip you don't have enough money to give a decent tip you should kind of be questioning whether uh your order was appropriate now i mean but it is, it is expensive. So many things have kind of evolved towards um, supporting people and eating, like staying in their homes. And that is not a huge problem, right? Great convenience. Great success. Excuse me. Anyway. I'm uh, gonna just like recognize my privilege here of like homeowner salary person. And shut my damn mouth. I got a question. Non fitness. Ooh. Ooh. I know some non fitness non fitness things. Do you know what attachment styles are? Is that like similar to love languages, like that kind of attachment? take a little more break here that first set was heavy Ooh, i'm feeling a feeling a stretch can you uh can you list a couple i could also google it real quick i'm getting actually some sunlight coming in this window so i'm going to be a little washed out apologies in advance pals i'm very interested to hear more lou i love the psychology of affection it's not meant to be a joke. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. What is going on? Ah! Oh. Thank you for the follow. That right arm is doing its thing. I'm getting a little frustrated with it, to be frank. And hello, my name is Frank. Welcome in, real nice day. 
well, there's a there's an opposing perspective. Secure attachment, ambivalous attachment, avoidant attachment, disorganized attachment. This is a new thing to me. Pansuki, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. <laughs> We're not going to mention that. Welcome back. Yeah, we can leave that part out. Flies. <laughs> wow. The difference between 40 and 45 is astonishing for me right now. Is this something you've been looking into, Lou? Are you like trying to figure out what it means with uh, regard to a personal relationship? <laughs> oh. oh, man. I think I'll stick to the bowls from now on. I always feel a little bit better after I eat a bowl, but I fantasize about a burrito. Your upbringing experiences shape how you view and develop relationships. Attempts to explain what issues may have. Hmm. You know, that sounds a little Freudian, if I'm being honest. What's going on there, Lou? What up, Meep? Welcome in, Green Meep. Are you a Muse fan? Real nice day. Test flies still always make me confused. What about them? I would love to assist if I can. Don't use my government name, Greep. I'm going to call you Greep then. Congratulations, Greep. Never feel like I'm doing them right. They're a very strange exercise. Because some people will tell you that the most important part of the chest fly is when you're bringing everything back in and squeezing at the middle. Some people will tell you that the most important part of the chest fly is when you're holding a full contraction at the bottom and that this doesn't necessarily matter as much. And uh, they're both kind of right. <laughs> Grief. <laughs> Grief it. Joint work of John Bowlby and Mary Ainsworth. Mythology, cybernetics, information processing, developmental psychology, psychoanalysts. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think that there is, there is something to be said for all human relationships that they are informed by previous relationships. Like, this is one of those things that I, I, I truly love and respect psychology as a field. And then every once in a while, someone just puts a label on something that is like it feels kind of obvious. And I'm not saying that's what this is. Like this is a more specific way of describing different pieces of that that you're sharing. But like, I mean, yeah. Like if, if, if all of your relationships, like if your parents were very distant with you, then that is going to definitely inform, consciously or not, the way that you approach relationships. It feels like I'm eating more shoulder than chest. Most important. Part of the chest fly is the nips. Yes. It's all about the nips. Bradley understands. It is, it, honestly, so sorry, not to, I, I keep on jumping around. Uh, Seraph, it is a very strange exercise. And as many years as I've been doing chest flies, um, chest flies feel different for me when I do them with cables than they do when I'm doing them with dumbbells. And that is, uh, that makes sense. Right? Because in one, you've got dynamic stabilization. Oh, damn. Whew. In one, you've got dynamic stabilization trying to keep cables, which do have a little bit of movement to them, but are pulled from a singular angle, like a, a, an anchor back here. You're trying to control through that movement, right? When you are using dumbbells, 
every bit of like movement that you can possibly make while you're coming back here into this stretch, you're gonna you're gonna feel it. So I would say if you are still feeling it in your shoulders on a chest fly, then you could work to build a little more stabilization in the back. Because ultimately, whether or not you're going to be able to engage your chest on a fly is going to be the result of how much you can keep your chest as the primary mover for it. So if you are laying down to do flies, or you're standing up, you know? If you're standing up and you're pulling like this, right? You may get a little bit of chest engagement. So you're, you're hunched over, you're pulling right here, you're probably going to be activating the muscle fibers in your front delts because you're caving in. If you're able to hold that scapula nice and firm, like just like do that, do, do that to try to feel the difference, right? Just flexing out, right? Let yourself hunch over a little bit and push forward. You're probably gonna feel it more in your shoulders. If you try to stand up tall, lock your shoulders in, and push out forward, you're immediately going to feel that in your chest. What's up, Rocket? How you doing, Rocket? Fix. Can I get a shout for Rocket? I have to do this next set. Though it pains me so. I just want to talk to Rocket, but I have to do this next set. How we doing, Rocket? Are you excited? Are you feeling, are you feeling good? Ah. Oh, are you feeling better? Are you feeling recovered? Come on. Uh, he's going over here. <laughs> we're just going to set these down. Going to reset. We're going to reset our little shirt. Tiger, did I not say hello? Oh, excuse me. I'm just sticking out. Tiger, you are entitled to a nibble. How are you doing, friendo? Gosh darn it, I'm such a... I'm such a... Such a big old jerk pants. <laughs> Good to see you, Tiger. Too much of my arms and sides, not enough of my pecs. Teaching my pecs to do it more. Yeah. No, I mean, they're, they're challenging, right? Something that tends to get lost in the shuffle when we talk about getting people started with fitness is that a lot of chest primary mover moves are actually very difficult. Bench press form. There's a lot to a proper bench press. One of the reasons that I've been doing flies every week is because that part of my chest is pretty underdeveloped. No, no lies. Ooh, don't be such a jerk. <laughs> Tabs, welcome in. How we doing, Tabs voice? And DJ Greenheart. Howdy ho. Oh, did miss me coming in. That's okay, that's one delayed nibble. But it still happened. It still happened. Hello, governor. Hello, booty. I don't know why I did that. That was probably uh, not great for somebody. Tabs, are you freaking pumped for TCon? I'm so pumped to see Tabs. Oh, thank you, Brad. Being on the cut has helped, but it's also still just like showing 
the things the, the things that I am still working on are becoming more and more apparent. Like it is very it's very difficult to describe what's happening with my right side right now, where like on these flat dumbbell presses, I get five or six in, and as I'm coming down, something like right up in here is just like <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. It's just this this little part of my chest that has not fully filled in yet. It's getting there. It's making progress. But that little bit a muscle that just like genetics or otherwise has not filled in over the years. It's just, it's cooking out real quick. So that's why I'm trying to get those nice, slow, eccentric movements, strengthen that up. I'm trying to loose up, tie up loose ends right now. Abs. You are like, what, you're going to go to TwitchCon and then you're going to get married afterwards? Unreal. That is so much stuff to be doing all at once. Speaking of a lot of things happening at once, um, I would like to make y'all aware of the fact. Hang on. Like y'all, like to make y'all aware of the fact that Cosmic Hearts is accepting team applications right now through October 29th. So if you're considering wanting, if you're if you're a streamer, you think you might want to join a stream team. You think you might want to do a little fundraising. If you can commit to one fundraising event per year and uh, you want to work on helping build inclusive spaces online, then uh, consider throwing your name in the hat. You can start the application now, save your work and finish it later. If you got questions about the app, you can reach out to me directly. Thank you, Bella. Vegas looks to be hot for TwitchCon. Surprising because it tends to cool down there in October. No complaints for me, though. Oh, no. I'm happy. I'm happy with, with a little bit of toast. I've been having to layer up for all my runs. And uh, I'm ready to do a couple down in Vegas. Uh, but welcome to climate change is definitely... Oh, shit. Oh, I messed up my shorts. Oh no, that's really sad. Oh well. <laughs> See, there it is. It just gave out. <sighs> that is wildly frustrating. I messed up my shorts. I don't know. Can y'all can y'all see what happened here? No, you probably can't. It's like the edge of the dumbbell just like completely carved these things up. It's so sad. I loved these shorts. Well, I guess they have their intended use, and that's all they will be used for. It got so cold here in Georgia. As mentioned, it's 42 here this morning. Slight arch. Oh. Gosh, I'm so excited to see all these folks in Vegas. I can't believe the week is finally here. I made my packing list this morning. I'm gonna be working on it the next couple days. Ugh. And then doing the big packle rooski Wednesday night and the Thursday morning. Uh. We did it. We did it. Whew. 
Didn't have to shout. Oh, man. Sounds like a fun team. Team climate change? No good. Can I post a meme? Sure. I trust you. I trust that it's relevant, tasteful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, I ain't getting up at 5 a.m. while we're in Vegas, but... Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for this. Stealing. That was a great natty. Starting to hate doing legs more. Have to do lunges and split squats, and I hate it. Sarah, when you learn to love it, there's never going back. There, there's no going back from that. The moment that you learn to embrace leg day, it changes your life. If you can love leg day, there's a lot of cruddy things that you can love. All right. Everybody. Everybody. Here we go. We're going to need to get going. So I'm going to bring y'all over, see one of our pals. We're going to see, we're going to see P1 fit. Go see player one fit because we love Trav. All right, hang on a second. Do I remember how to do this? P one fit. Everyone, if you have not spent any time with Trav yet, let me just request. Let me just request that you address that. Uh, for the rest of this week until TwitchCon, I'm gonna be just doing a little bit of tip raising. Uh, if y'all got some great insights on stream today, or if you're loving the vibe, or if you just want to like buy me a beer or a burrito while I'm out at TwitchCon. Uh, you can use that tip link to just like drop me drop me a few bucks. I appreciate it. If you can't, no worries. I'm gonna be fine. Ultimately, I'll be fine. But you know, figure you can't get does does doesn't hurt to ask. Ask for what you need. Ask for what you want. <laughs> Buy you one IRL. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're gonna get raided out to uh, out to Trav. If you'd be so kind as to grab one of these raid messages, thank you so much to our wonderful mods for their support on stream today. Thank you, Para. Thank you, Sega. Thank you, Tiger. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Morgan, all for being here. I um, appreciate y'all. And uh, make sure that you are taking care of yourselves the rest of this week. I think on Wednesday, we're going to be doing an early morning lift. So, no, it's okay, Bella. You, you got a job. Like, you got, you got a job, you got life. It's all good. Wednesday morning, we're probably going to be going live hella early. So, for some of you, I guess I'll see you at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And for the rest of you, um, we just, we're not going to be live in the middle of the day, unfortunately. I wish I could make it work, but we got too many important meetings happening at work that I just got to get in. So with that, see you on, oh, also games tomorrow night. We're playing description. Yeah, that's happening. Be kind to yourself, be kind to someone else, do a little something that fills the tank this week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.